Hello traders, Gary Wagner here, just about 11 o'clock in Honolulu, 4 o'clock in New York on Monday, April the 7th, 2014, and this is uh, the daily report for gold and silver. After a dramatic rise that we witnessed on Friday, we're giving a good chunk of that back, about a third of that back considering on gold, considering gold was up about $15, currently trading off about $5 more importantly below $1,300, current print on the screen, $1,296. 1297 the low is 95.10 and the high is 1304 on the day silver also under pressure down about a half a percent or nine cents on the day 1985 our current print our low is 70 our high is 2011 we'll talk about silver towards the end of the show as i said we are giving back roughly roughly a third of the value that we have seen in terms of the gain on Friday. And I talked about the fact that if we saw some sort of follow through, some sort of follow through, then what I would be most likely to do would be to issue an actual buy trigger or buy signal. We obviously didn't get that follow through. As I looked at the charts over the weekend, I, I looked at a couple of different scenarios and different models that might be eloquent in terms of forecasting what we're going to see in terms of future pricing. As you know, we had our dramatic rise from about 1181 up to just below 1400 or 1392. We then got a retracement. That retracement kind of ended in a funny place because when we consider our FIB numbers, we were well below the 50 that's this is 38 50 and then 61 these bands right here let me kind of highlight them 38 50 and 61 and the market as it came down broke through 38 broke through 50 and fell very very short of actually coming down to this particular area. i believe it's about 1262 so one plausible model that we do want to explore is the possibility that this correction here is going to be more like an A, somewhat of a B, and then our final C. And it would be our C that would take us to the 61% retracement point. If that is the case, if that model is the way that gold prices unfold, then we really want to plot at what point if this market in other words if we see this market rise fall a little bit because this is going to have a sub count behind it and then move up where can we expect it to move up well typically on a b wave you look at a 50 a band between 50 and call it 75 percent of the move that we saw on the a wave down and so that band would be somewhere around here. It would still be a pretty good trade, but it wouldn't be the trade that we're looking for in terms of that big impulse phase. And my sense is this is a very, very short term chart, and that's what permits us to do the sub count. But this would be one possible way we could see the market unfold. As I said, as long as we're trading under 1300, I think that we're going to still see some pressure. And so we could see this kind of stair step itself up to this point and then have that one final wave down and then hit this, you know, 61% retracement level. But that's what we're going to have to look at. So for right now, we haven't had any real strong confirmation of the moves that we saw. We look at it on a one day chart. On a two day chart, it is showing us some dramatic activity because it's showing us activity off of this bottom. But nonetheless, I'm not completely convinced and comfortable with a buy trigger at this point. And my sense is that if the best trade is to be sidelined, that is the best trade. And so for the time being, that is my suggestion. So traders have gone ahead and put up a daily chart. And on this daily chart, it will become a little bit more clear, hopefully clarify what I'm looking at. We had, in terms of a sub count, we had a series of five waves come in here. One, two, three, four, five. On the way down, as I said, what I'm looking at is the possibility of an A, a B, and then a final C taking us to our 61% retracement. As I said, if that is the case, we are going to be looking for a band 
and that band is really going to be between 50 and 75 percent of this most recent correction right here so we'd go up to 50 to 75 percent and that band would put us roughly in this area right here so we could see this market over the next week or so kind of rise back into this band and then have that one final move down so we might see it do something like move up to about 1340 and then move down final band touches our 61 percent retracement and then we move into another impulse and that impulse of course as i said before is going to be i believe at least equal to the move that we saw in this wave one so we'd have a one we'd have a two and then we go into our three over the weekend as i looked at my charts my belief is that we are still probably in this b wave and i say that because of the lack of follow through today now we'll have to see how this market unfolds as the week progresses but for right now as i said that's the best and most plausible model that does make technical sense to me now traders i had to scale this kind of funny to have it fit but this is our andrews pitchfork that we have been looking at over the last couple of months and what i find interesting is we saw the market come in and just make it over that outer prong that's a zero we then saw the market correct and we talked about the fact that we would look to see if it found some sort of support at the 23 percent cascading channel line resistance or support level lo and behold take a look at this market comes down touches that quite perfectly and now is moving back up so in terms of bullish sentiment in the short term on a technical basis this chart really is interesting in that we really popped off of this area we have seen times where the market would try to kind of get some some headwind as you can see up here it kind of goes up and then comes back down it finds support at this line moves up halfway through comes back down but you can see that my sense is that even though it's right at this area we're still in an area where it could break through but we have had more importantly on this particular chart our first signs of having a v or a key reversal area so that when we actually look at some of the longer studies this is a two-day chart of course this is that one we can see that right here this dramatic rise and as I said, I still believe we could see something like a A, a B, or final C down. That would conclude two, and then we would go into an impulse third wave. So how does that tie into silver, and how do we feel about silver right now? Well, the one thing that I can tell you is it looks as though we do have some real support. That support coming in at around 1960, 1958. That's a key component. But we're also warned to the fact that we have had this really tight trading band through december beginning of january right in here and it appears as though although we have kind of bounced off of these lows here my sense is that we might go back into that trading range or that tightly defined band in which we trade on the high side at around 2050 and on the low side around 1950 that dollar range so I don't see a lot of activity. We're still well below the long-standing resistance line. We were never able to break above that. So silver has its own unique challenges. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. Talk to you tomorrow on Tuesday for another daily update and review. Bye-bye.